It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are doing business here with Megacore. Uh, Cowboy started off the round. We already went around once. And we saw a lot of media buys. Cowboy got a card that made him think that having media companies would be useful. He reacted to that immediately, bought a media company. Junior, who's thinking about starting to flesh, flex his military muscle with his coup. He's going to do a coup followed by an attack on a particular country. Um, decided to wait until he was the active player because maybe he'll get another beneficial card beforehand. And he saw that Cowboy bought a media company wanted to get in on the media companies before they're all gone. Um, Smiley, she... Do, 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 do. She's starting to get low on money. Uh, she's been doing a lot of buying. And so what did she buy? I know I spent a lot of time just trying to remember what they buy because it's just them buying companies, right? Um, she was in a, oh yeah, she was in an interesting position where a lot of places where she would have wanted to buy, she would have uh, dealt with some antitrust violations. So she was thinking about finance. She's going to hit antitrust there. Um, she almost went to aerospace, but she knows that Cowboy really wants that. Uh, media, global would have antitrusted her there. And so where did she end up going? I don't even remember. Um, she didn't go to biotech. Maybe she did go into finance. Maybe she wasn't in finance before. That could have been it. No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, yeah, she went into food. Okay, so she's doubled down in food on the kleptocrat Russia. So she's hoping that no one else gets Russia. She does have a card that lets her put a kleptocracy up for grabs. So she feels kind of protected in that. So she went in food. It's a pretty good situation there. So that would be, that's worth 16 to her having those two with only two other competitors. Um, and then Sonny, he continued buying metals. He bought another metal company also in Russia. And then Weasel, Weasel exercised government. He looked around, saw not a really great spot for him to come in. He had antitrust issues here in media. Um, thought about going to metals, but thought he could just take this oil right here from Cowboy um, because he, he owns the ASEAN kleptocracy. And now that's, we're going to go on to Junior's turn. Junior's going to draw a card and it's greedy kleptocrats. That's the, that's the card I just told you about that Smiley has. So he has the ability to put, um, a kleptocracy up for auction as well now. It's Junior's round. He decided to, instead of doing his big pop out attack, it's kind of risky. To, attacking isn't that useful in this game. It can be, but um, generally the bread and butter is buying companies. He wanted to buy into here. Um, look like one that might pay out. Uh, the, the, the pay mechanism in the game is kind of also kind of odd um, in that you know people just kind of decide when an industry pays out. They can only pay out so many times. I, I guess that's a manipulation of something to make it so they pay out, but it seems like things would pay out kind of regularly in the world. Um, anyway, so he went in here. These these areas are just kind of um, you buy it up. Going over to these other newer frontiers at this point in the game is a little riskier. Seems like um, they could just fill up with a lot of different competitors. You, you kind of want to be in a place with, with maybe one other person. We haven't seen a lot of horse trading yet or company trading because um, people are kind of just of staking their positions, but that'll probably be coming pretty soon. We did see some some people entering into these um, eastern markets, I guess, the solar software robotics with um, Smiley coming into solar, followed by um, Cowboy there. And then Weasel, where did Weasel go? Oh, Weasel went into nanotech. And then Sunny, I don't even know what Sunny did. Oh, Sunny finally entered into the media realm. So if there's a vote, each person gets one vote, and it's going to be a wash probably unless someone, you know, pays someone off so that they can get their vote. And there are some vote cards out there, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So our active player card should be here with, um, with Miss Smiley. She's going to draw a card, and it's L5. So it's a nanotech one right here. So... It's just the same as this asteroid that Sunny got um, last time on the Real People Multi-Game Solar Terra Megaturn, except it gives her kind of a, a foothold into uh, the nanotech industry as opposed to the metals industry that no one can take away from her. Except there's, I, I guess there's probably, isn't there like a corporate raid card would probably work, but you can't do it through government. 
Quick round of turns that consisted of more buying of companies. Weasel went into Nanotech some more um, follow after, uh, after Smiley did. Smiley got the L5 card one to go into Nanotech. Um, Sonny, he's continuing with his metals. He's almost full up. He can go boom on his next turn, and he's going to have the next turn and do a, a buyout. So what will be the turn after next? So next turn he buys this, turn after that, boom, with the asteroid, do a buyout. No one messes with him. That's going to be a huge payout for him. Um, Weasel went into Nanotech. I said that. Uh, I want to say Roadrunner, but it's not Roadrunner. It's Cowboy. I maybe have called him Roadrunner in the past because he's a, he's a truck driver. Um, bought a solar company, and then um, Junior, he finished off with finance. So finance is, is pretty good for him. He's probably going to do buy. We're going to see a, a lot more people getting paid using the, the paid turns and that's going to, there's going to be more of a competition for that. At the beginning, people didn't want to do it because they use a turn and they weren't getting a lot of money. Maybe it would have been wise if some people did, but um, probably this next round of play, we are going to see that. Um, elections. Yep. Yeah, okay. So another vote for that. Uh, another card that allows a democracy to go up for vote. Um, Sonny, if anyone wants to get a kind of vote, there's definitely going to need to be some negotiating. Uh, it's been a pretty happening turn. We saw some card play. First card we saw played was an anti-corruption drive by Cowboy. He wouldn't be able to play in the African Federation, but he didn't want to lose his company to a kleptocracy. So he instituted some reforms in the African Federation. Now they're a solid dictatorship. Uh, following that play, I think Weasel and Sonny beforehand bought some companies, but that's less exciting. Following that play, Junior did a big move. He, um, he nationalized... Oh no, what he did was he did, a, he did his military coup on China, which nationalized this, taking away the competitor there, and then did a payout on the financial sector. So that gave him 12 per instead of 10 per, um, and he didn't have to share the money with Smiley. That made Smiley pretty annoyed, um, but she didn't really directly retaliate. She thought about it, but she thought it would be wiser to... Um, yeah, actually, she did retaliate a little bit. She she did a, a corporate raid on this uh, company here, which was she was saving that card for for use in a vote. She was going to do a corporate raid then, but she needed to have an aerospace company in order to go into L five. She wanted to get into L five, hoping maybe Weasel will do a payout on this. She doesn't want to go here because Weasel would just take the company from her. So um, after she did that, so she did two card plays, essentially. Uh, she stocked up on mercenaries, bought a bunch from Sunny and Junior. She's almost out of money, so she's going to have to do something soon. Hopefully someone will pay out somewhere where she has a company. She's got a lot of companies spread out, I think, pretty much every industry. Let's see, she's in solar, she's in oil, she's in nanotech. She's not in metals, which is probably going to be the next payout. Well, depends. Um... She's in media, she's in food, she's not in finance, she's in defense, she's in biotech, she's in aerospace. So she's in pretty much everything that's not a monopoly right now. So she's got to hope for a payout. But her hope is to take the ASEAN from, from Weasel here and then start to take over these companies for free that he has there. And that'll give her some, give her some more strength in biotech and also a uh, pretty strong position in oil. Uh, she'll have three companies there and then she'll have some more payout options. You don't want to really take the, the paid option unless you have something that you're strong and otherwise you're you're helping your competitors as much as you're helping yourself. So that's the round. Let's move on to Weasel here. Weasel's new card is Clone Soldiers. This is a big one. This is the one that activates biotech companies for people and if you look Weasel's got a lot in biotech, so it's probably in his interest to do that. What I mean by activate biotech companies, they can also make soldiers when you do the, the soldier thing. So that's a perfect card for him to get. Um, it's going to make things definitely interesting it's, if there's going to be a conflict between he and um, Smiley over the CNC. She thought she could go for him because he's weak militarily. He doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of mercenaries, but now unbeknownst to Smiley, he's going to have the ability to get some. So Weasel has let it be known he wants uh, an additional company in the biotech industry. So he's made kind of an open offer for a, a company swap with both Sunny 
and Smiley. Sonny is less inclined to do so since he kind of has his big payout going right here. He doesn't really need to worry about the food issue, though it would help him to have that. Um, it's more compelling to Smiley, but she kind of wonders if it's such a wise choice. At the same time, she would really like to get some money. And so I think what they're going to do is she's going to give this up to Weasel. And we, in, in return, actually, she's going to do this one right here. In return, he's going to let her have this. And he's going to promise not to take her company there. Now, whether she trusts him on that um, is, a, is a different matter. But he says if she puts puts a company there, he won't use his kleptocracy to take it from her. Um, so we'll see if she goes with that. So he's going to do that and then go ahead and pay out on this one right here. She would have liked to, to benefit from that payout. If you recall, she's down to $5. But... That's not to be. So that's going to be 10 a piece. So he's going to pull in 40, and Globo is going to, uh, Sunny is going to pull in 10. Um, i got to stop a second and see if anyone wants to play any cards to mess that up. I don't think anyone does. It's a little too early to, to do a pure take that to someone. So there's 10, and he's going to pull in 40, and that's going to be his turn. Cowboy, for his part, he is going to buy <laughs> that space and then offer to trade it to Smiley in return for either her solar company or her media company. She, I think, is going to take him up on it for fear that Weasel will go ahead and take it from Cowboy and thus not really go against their bargain but still be able to take that company. Um, so she is going to trade, I think, for the solar. And so he gets a solar company. She gets a nanotech company and now she's got four in nanotech which is very nice for her so long as Weasel maintains his bargain. Now she um, has made it known to Weasel that she would be willing to do business with him in the future uh, for some of his other areas that he likes, um, perhaps aerospace or um, yeah I think primarily aerospace provide or yeah provided uh, provided he lays off, so we'll see what he does. Junior is going to be playing greedy kleptocrats. Now, right now, Junior has the second most money in the game. How, how greedy kleptocrats work is everyone secretly bids a certain amount of money, and whoever bid the highest amount has to pay that amount, and then they get control of that country. In this case, it's going to be Great Russia, which is kind of the ripest fruit of the kleptocrats. Um, the only other one right now is the ASEAN, which, um, which Weasel has. Weasel, so Weasel has the most money. He is going to calculate how much he needs to take it, because if he takes it, he can just kind of sit back and scoop up all of these things, get a majority in food, get into metals for the rest of the game. There's five more turns left in the. He'll have five more turns left in the game, so he could. You know, just pluck them all up um, not, and without having to spend any more money. So, thinking five companies, that'd be 20 bucks. Let's see, how much does he want to spend? I gotta think about how much he wants to spend. He really wants to outbid Junior, though. Hmm. Yeah, he's gonna go all in and bid 66. Junior only put up 20. He's just trying to get rid of his funds here. He's got another plan. Um, no one else came close to that. It was a very high bid for Weasel. Not a very conservative move. Um, but he did get control of Great Russia. Junior's going to turn around now that he it's his turn, and he's going to just try and take it. He's putting in his six mercenaries here. Plus he has China, which adds another four, and Japan, which adds another one. So that's a total of 11. Uh, Great Russia has a defensive four, so if People can't muster seven to add to Great Russia's four. They're not going to be able to, to stop him from taking it. Now, who would want to stop him? Uh, well, obviously Smiley would, but she doesn't really care because Weasel has it anyway. So does she really care whether Junior has it or Weasel has it? I don't know that she does. 
Sonny's been the main uh, military competitor with Junior. They've been kind of building up against each other. Um, he stands to lose medals. He might want to put in, but he doesn't have the seven. It would take one, two, three, four, five. So Weasel's going to have to try to uh, maybe offer some companies in order to get some support here in order for that to happen. So i got to stop a second to see if, if he can do that. Okay, Weasel made a deal. He's going to give Sonny his media company right here, which is a huge concession. Um, and he's going to give Cowboy his aerospace company, which is going to help Cowboy a good deal. And then was there another deal? And then he's going to just promise not to take their companies in, the, in Great Russia. They have to use all their mercenaries. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six mercenaries get it from the opposing side. So one, two, and then four of Sonny's as the largest contributing force there. Um, and then he gets to keep Great Russia. Who won out of that? I don't know. Smiley, having very little money, is going to um, use this opportunity of military weakness around the board to go ahead and take the ASEAN from Sonny. There's nothing he can do about it. Uh, Junior could could help try to stop, but it, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, or not Junior, Sonny, sorry. And so she's going to take it. Um, that lets her do an immediate uh, stealing of a company. And I think she'll go ahead and take oil over here. Kind of beef up her oil there. And she's very happy. And the round of turns ends with Sonny uh, doing a, a mercenary buildup. Uh, the, the cost of mercenaries has gone up, though. Smiley charged him too, and so did Cowboy. Uh, he didn't even ask Junior to buy troops from him, mercenaries from him. So he got his stack back up to five. So that, that leaves him feeling safe from a, a possible attack from Smiley, which is what he was going to do. He was thinking about uh, running elections, uh, since he can do that now. What would he do with the democracy at this point? Um, they're not as effective in messing with other people now that all the companies are bought up for the most part. I don't know that anyone's going to get into robotics or software this game because... We only got five turns left, and people are short on funds, and the goal is to get funds. So it could be someone does a run and tries to get a bunch of them, and then, you know, because all, all the industries pay out at the end of the game. But we'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. It'll be our last one for Megacore. Uh, we'll be starting with Cowboy again, going through everyone, starting with a round of turns, and then the game will be over.